Yeah, that's yeah, that should be. Ooh, where did he go? Dropped by the battery cover. Somewhere inside there. Let's see it. Can you see it? I don't see it. All right, guys, we're about to do some surgery on this drama queen here today. Currently, she has Coney shocks on it, uh, front and back. Um, they're nice, but they're still a little bouncy when you drive um, aggressively with them. So what we're putting on today, uh, BC Racing Coilovers. Uh, so not sure how long this is going to take, but I have someone coming over. He's going to actually do the install. I'll just be like directing because if I were to do the install myself, this poor car would be in pieces. And so these wheels have a little cover in the middle and there's a little Allen key to take that cover off. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. So let's do this. A little clumsy to do one-handed, but Coming off. It's not screwed in too tight. Right, so after a very uh, easy, what was that, 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. We got this thing out now. We did have to take the, um, we have to disconnect the sway bar, took out the end links. Um, then we did a little, it's not sketch, it worked, it's MacGyver. Um, use another jack to kind of push the bucket down. Alright, so this is the spring that comes with the coil over and that's the perch on top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now is that at its slowest setting out of the box or how do they set it up? So it is lower than the lower end springs and these were IMAX. I gotta look and see um, what kind of drop these days. Um, I don't know how low to go with this. It is already lower than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's probably like that. Uh, how do you think they're, um, they're measured up to the same height? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Best to check that before you put it on the car. I know some people would be say would say slam it or leave it alone, but <laughs> we could always adjust it. Mm -hmm. So as far as adjusting, you can just take the wheel off and spin those little things on it to move it up and down. Okay. Compared to other companies, they kind of set it up for you. When you get it, it's just an easy, like, throw on. Let's put them side by side. Let's see what they look like. Wow. Big difference. Huge difference. All right. So we're going to put one in. Well, well, that spring should be a lot easier. We may not even need that jack in. is in
Just need the wheel now. Yeah. All right. Good All right. Let me roll the wheel in. So we are on the driver's side now, the left side of the car, and everything that we used for the right side, we just migrated it over to the driver's side. Wheels off. This is the pooch, and we've already adjusted it down. Okay. And then the shock, we didn't realize on the, um, on the other side that this here was adjustable. So we did have to take the wheel back off and we adjust it down. We did it on this already, so everything's already done here. Spring, all the little wrenches, and then all of our bits and bobs that we need. So Kevin is working on taking off the shock from the top. We have our little shop light here. We need more light. It's already plugged in. It's a huge difference. And so once we have the shock off, spring out, um, come back and show the reassembly of the rear suspension. All right, so the lower end spring is out. We've already adjusted the perch. The other spring is back in the one that came with the uh, coil over there. We did um, disconnect the swivel bar, so the old shock is out, and this is the one that's going in. It's already been adjusted down. I want to be low like Devin. Let me show you his car. Jeez, it's dark. Look, you can't put fingers in there. Maybe a credit card in the back. Jeez, how do you spell flush? All right, so. This wheel is going back on. Um, so the spring from the coilover with the poach is in. The shock is in, they've both been adjusted. This actually took a lot uh, shorter to do than the passenger side. We learned a lot from the passenger side that we used here. So. Um, now we wait. Right. Um, so I popped the hood on this C30 and before we can get started, we're gonna have to remove this strut brace that I had made for me by Vaz FX, I believe his name is. He's on IG, I'll post his name. Um, and the thing he does like custom fabrication and all that fancy stuff, welding fabrication. So I'll post that up. So we're gonna have to take that off. I'm gonna jack the car up. Everything should be fine. Strut brace off, turn the bolt back on so that when you lift the car, it doesn't just go haywire. I don't know if that's a mechanical word, but all right. So you said tap down on that. Any movement? Okay. 
Maybe a few more taps like that. Alright, so whoever came up with this design at Volvo, your mom, your grandma, and your auntie are all hoes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> okay, now we're using shop words. But, um, alright, so what is that? A shot? A shop or a strap? That's a strap. Uh, so. It's what? It's a shame. Alright. I just wanted to use the right word. People on the internet, they are unforgiving. They get keyboard commander when you use the wrong term. Alright, right, so go after Devin. Leave me alone. He's the one who knows all this stuff. I'm just the guy with the camera. Shouts to the ones that have the Okay. All right, so y'all go after that one. All right. <laughs> yeah, that should be really good to do one. Dropped by the battery cover. Somewhere inside here. Let's see. Can you see it? I can see it. All right. Really? Uh, we don't need those. Ah, so my sway bar. It's, it's still, it's gonna go on. Uh, Is that long enough? I do have the factory not. sway bar, but it's like really filmy. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna keep this one back to the end. Because the sway bar has four. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one uh, actually has two, right? Yeah, two okay. Alright, so we have the BCs kind of sorta in. And now to redo everything we undid. Needs to take it out, man. You have to beat that thing like a spoiled child. Um, but yeah, it came out after quite a few hits. We didn't have a rubber mallet, but the hammer we used didn't cause that much damage. You do have a piece of wood you can use on the other side. Um, we did have to disassemble and take out the battery to get to one of these bolts that fell. And had we thought about it. Um, we could have, would it have fallen out if we had left it in, in there? Or it would have stayed in there and just rattled and made my life difficult. <laughs> oh, and there's camber plates. Now the camber plate is, hmm, so when I go to do the alignment, those guys might have to drop this again, I guess. To adjust the um, camber. Right, we're gonna wrestle with this, but the driver's side is on its way back in. All right, so the front driver's side is in. And um, should we be honest? What? Why are you here? Should we be honest? I think we should be honest. Yeah, could you get the part that you bought? All right, we're going into 2021 with a clean heart. Um, yeah, we broke the bolt on the left outer tie rod end. 
So our angel for the night came in in a Volvo, in a red Volvo. We gotta take pictures of that Volvo. I want people to see it, but showed up in a Volvo to save us. Um, bought us a new left tire at end. And now we're back and we got delayed, what, like half an hour, I guess? About an hour. But now we're on the front passenger side. And, all right, Devin, what's going on? Hammer time. You gotta beat the. <laughs> Do it again. So after beating on that thing for like, what, 30 minutes, we finally separated it out of the bracket. Look, you can see the paint <laughs> actually kind of came off. Junior, you should have bought like Chick fil A or something. I mean, Dude, seriously. I you show up, show up, don't want to help, and then you come empty handed. Hi, right, Devin, status update. Yes, he's a Volvo tech. Shows up, doesn't help, does not help. But he saved us. He bought the tire, he picked up the left outer tire at the end. What do you need, the tire? Alright, I'll bring it in. Since Junior is just here for his he bought his He bought his beauty. And then he's fussing like to help us move a tire. I mean come on. And then you know you you know what? He wants me to buy him McDonald's just for moving this one tire. And then he's fussing. Jeez. Dude, seriously. <laughs> All right. All right, so the coils are all in on all four corners. Did run into some hiccups, but that's, uh, that's part of the game, I guess. Poor Devin is tired. Guess you're off for the rest of the week, so gonna sleep that off. It's gonna cost me in his sleep. And I have the little cover things for the wheels right there. I'll leave them off until Alright, so I guess with the exception of that thing, we are done.
So not much of a drop. We didn't um, do much adjustment to the height on the front. He did slam the rear. Slam is really generous. No, we slammed it, but we left the perches in. And that's why it seems like the height of the um, lower end springs. I was expecting it to be a little lower. If you don't want to take the perches out, just get bigger springs. Get what? Or smaller springs. Smaller springs. Yeah, because the springs on, on BC Racing are like $60 range. Yeah, but they don't sell like an extreme low option. So you can get the C30? Mm -hmm. Well, all you have to do is match um, You don't have to get the springs from the C30. Like from the master suite. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's the verdict? Oh, it feels great. Feels great. Hmm. Like okay. But, uh, Definitely need my strut brace. Uh, yeah, it feels a little loose in the front. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it's the front. Uh, it's rattling. So do you have to bend it? Can you get your hands in there without? All right, should we take a screwdriver to McDonald's? I'm not saying it's I'm hungry. It's not hung. that bad. It's literally just like, sometimes it's like stupid. Yeah, well, let's take a screwdriver to McDonald's. I'm not saying I'm hungry, but I'm hungry. Okay. All right, guys, let's go eat.